Welcome to another episode of Catfish and Carp. Today I am here with Zach and Matt here from PGH Bottom Feeders and we are going to try to get some new PBs here. I'm gonna I'm gonna see if we can't put these guys on some big catfish. All right Matt see this lever right here? Flip that up. My wife wouldn't. That's the idle switch that'll make it rev high. It helps it when it uh, warm up when it's cold. Now go ahead and turn the key. Now push it in and turn it. That chokes it. There you go. And we're going to trim it down so the engine's in the water. Just let it rev there a little bit. Keep that switch up high. All right, so this is your down imaging. This is your side imaging. Have you know how to use side imaging? A little bit. Yeah, very few people do unless you own it. It's, it's confusing. But you stick to the down imaging for right now. Right there, this is the bottom. Okay, and we're at three feet of water. See these little specks right there in the middle? Those are bait fish. Yeah. If we see a big blob of them, we're gonna go pull out the cast net. See Matt, this is why you get yourself a 9.9 .9 horsepower engine. Because there's a lot less trouble you can get into at 5.8 miles per hour, you know? And we're starting to get a little, a little bait action there. Okay. Just keep going, just keep going. Yeah. Flip a Yui, flip a Yui. See that? That's bait. All right. Yeah, just, just kill the engine. Just kill the engine right there. There's a massive school of bait right here. See? These are all fish. See that? Now those might be really small shad and they'll just swim right through our net, but they might be really nice shad. We're going to throw the net and find out, but there are tons of them in here. But you see, see how I choke it up so it's about waist, I'm grabbing about waist high. It lets you get it over the rail a lot better. See, look at all the little baby shad in there. Yeah. Not as many as I thought. Well, I'm satisfied those are small fish. See, there you go. That's a great way to learn how to read your fish finders. See all these signals? We know there's something. Throw your cast net, find out. Now we know that that school's a baby shad. The other thing you can do is just look for them. You can see fish jumping here and there. And if you see one, you see color, you can tell it's a good fish. Throw it, just drive right up to it, throw a net right on top of the ripple, because where there's one, there's usually 50. The water level is so low here, it is messing with everything. Normally, the fish are right up in the weeds. There are no weeds, all the weeds are high and dry. So the fish are moving off of structure and out of their comfort zone, and they're down in deeper water that doesn't really hold the food and structure they need. It makes for really interesting fishing conditions. See right there how the forest floor comes to the shoreline and there's like little caves underneath there where the water undercut the roots of the trees. All of that is awesome habitat for catfish and bass. And I've caught tons and tons of fish right up in those little caves. Just cast a bobber right in there. But of course it only works when there's water there. The fish don't do so good when it's dry. Why don't you open up that uh, that live well? I like this having help. This makes life a lot easier. I like this brand of net. It's the third one I've bought. The ultra spreader cast net works good. Stop. Full stop, Matt. Full stop. Full stop. Full stop. There we go. Look at that. A little better. There's a, there's a the crappie. That crappy. Yeah, that's, that's a, there you go. You, you can get one. Yeah. Trying to escape the crappie. There we go. Nice little guy, look at that. Yep, you're good. Right on the edge. I see what they're done. You're good that on, the, good on that ledge. Two, we got, three. We got, we got a few things in it. Have you ever been that disappointed to see a crappie that size? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, we've got about 18 gizzard shad in the live well. We are ready to start catfishing. There you go, have a slimy little present. All right guys, we've got bait. Now we gotta get these boys on a good spot here. Let's see what we can do. All right, see that? All those dots are honey holes. We're right about where we wanna fish. 
Okay, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna drive past it about 30 feet, drop anchor, then reverse back over the top of it. Okay, and then we're gonna go and drop the second anchor and that'll end up right where we need to be. Okay, reverse this back that direction. You know, you're fishing with eight rods. A lot of people wonder how you keep them, you know, sorted, not all tangled up. The key is, doesn't matter how close your rods are, it's how close your hooks are that matters, right? Yeah. So we're gonna spread it way out. And if you've got two rods, they're kind of close together alternate distances hook him through the back check the point of the hook for scales never let there be scales on the point of the hook that's just donating food so zach here has never caught a blue cat and we're going to try to fix that today and matt's uh pb for flatheads what 27 something yeah 27 pounds so what i'm going to do is i'm going to let matt reel in a flathead and if i see a cat a blue cat bite we're going to let zach reel it in and you can tell the difference because blues hammer it Flatheads kind of tickle it and just kind of walk off with it. So we're going to see what we can get. I got to go put some bells on these rods though. Oh, he's okay, Matt, That's why don't you go, go reel that in? Re reel that in there real quick. Reel down on him. Just, yeah, reel down on him. Reel him in. Oh, yeah. Nope, that's my reel breaking. <laughs> Stupid reel. Are you snagged up? Oh, yep. Dang. Yeah, you were, you were snagged Ooh. up there. Okay, why don't you grab that one? Why don't you grab that one, Zach? Definitely. There you go. Yeah. Ooh, he's fighting. Yeah, he's waking up. He's waking up now. Keep your eyes on the prize. There's a lot of, a lot of, a lot of rods in the water. Yeah, that boy. one. <laughs> you think of that, Zach? Yeah, that one's bigger. Oh, look at the size that, of that one's more boy. like 30. That one's like more like 30. Well, not too shabby. <laughs> not. I won't. All right. There he goes. Nice. No, that's a nice looking one. That one's, yeah, that one's pushing. I'm thinking more like 35. Yeah. He has a touch with that. Oh, oh absolutely. Yeah. Okay. There he goes, Zach. <laughs> All right, I'll say 36. See who wins. 34 pounds. 34. 34. Out, out closer. On that sucker. Yeah, he he's a monster. <laughs> Just give it a give it a reel or two. See if the rod loads up. Yeah, he's on there. You, you got a snag on there again? No. Good. No, I just want to make sure he's not snagged up if it's rubbing. Oh, he's rubbing. Oh man, might be a PB breaker. Hold That's on. A PB breaker. Oh, right. Oh, I, I gotta admit that was professional level. Okay, watch. Thirty pound flathead over a foot. Yeah. It's not that easy. And it's not straight up. <coughs> no, it's not. Keep yeah. that mouth open for me. Mm -hmm. Oh. It really makes sure. Ah, oh, there we go. Pop. Goes the easy. Okay, hold on. Let's take a peek down there. Yeah, we're good. Didn't tear anything out. Good. That is a big flathead. I'm seeing 35 and a half. 35 and a half maybe. <coughs> oh, there you go, man. Congratulations. Thank you. I appreciate it, man. Do this. All right, man. Congratulations. Look at the size of that beast. Oh, yeah. 35 and a half. New PB. 35 and a half. Ready to go. Beautiful. So guys, uh, my math isn't great, but it was what, 34 on yours? Mm -hmm. 35. 35 and a half on yours. We have got 69 and a half pounds of catfish in 42 minutes. <laughs> How's that? That's Is that awesome. not too bad? That's, that's not, awesome. Not, that's not too shabby right there. If you guys want to know how my fishing's going, look at my arms. If my knuckles are bloody, it's been okay. My wrist is bloody. It's been good. My forearm is bloody. Mmm, it's a proper catfishing night. Give it a reel. Give it a reel or two. There you go. Oh. Came out. Came out. That. He probably had the bait, but not the hook. Yeah. Well, I decided to check my bait and sure enough, look at that, turned in on himself. Never gonna catch anything like that. 
Well, this spot's been good to us, but uh, it's slowed down a lot. So I think we're gonna call it and pull up anchor here and try another spot. All right, we're here in spot number two. We got everything casted out. Now we're playing the waiting game. We'll give this 20, 30 minutes, see what happens. We kept getting these smacks, just bam, bam on this rod. I think it's a snapping turtle. So we're gonna check our bait and see if there's any bites out of it or if it's been torn off. Hopefully I'm wrong and it's a channel cat. No, not a turtle, I don't think. Looks like something toothy though. Well, we've been here about 30 minutes. Got a few jingle jangles on the rod, nothing on. That's not a good sign. We're getting out of here. Go try another spot. Nice size. Not here five minutes. We've been getting some hits on this rod. Maybe it'll commit. Oh, keep reeling, keep reeling. There you go. Grab the camera. Eel. Eel. Oh. My first eel ever. Hey, yeah. yeah, you can bring them up. I heard they're good bait. They are, they're good eating too. That's my first eel. Oh, I've never well, seen That's a nice eel. size one. Now well, I guess it's that time of year. That's probably what's going on over here with some of these other ones. This is about the time of year the eels start migrating. There you go, nice eel. All right, yeah, that's my first one ever. Hey Matt, that was that was your first eel, right? Yeah. So that's a new PB right there. That's your second PB in the same in one trip, right? Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how much it weighed, but it was 20 pounds. Really? Yep. Yep. Little channel. Yeah, nice size one. That's a nice channel catfish. Maybe six, eight pounds, something like that. Every time I eat pizza on the boat, it tastes like shad. Don't know why. Mm. Good. I think I'm gonna call it for the night, but have you guys had a good time? Oh yeah, Great especially time. catching uh, my new PB flathead. And PB eel. Don't don't forget the PB eel. And don't forget to check out Matt's YouTube channel, uh, PGH Bottom Feeders. I'll put a link in the description. And uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you want to see more videos about how to catch big catfish, don't forget to click subscribe and check out our playlist. Thanks for watching. We put out new videos every Saturday morning. Thanks.